President Biden's loan forgiveness plan will benefit many people here on the Central Coast. KSBY News reporter Claudia Busio asked local students how they feel about that plan. We know how community colleges are a great option to one, save some cash and also channel these students to four year universities. Here's how students at Cuesta College feel about President Biden's debt relief plan. UCLA graduate Ethan Carroll is changing careers with the help of classes at Cuesta College. So right now I'm doing some classes so that I can apply for graduate schools like PA programs. Community college is offering some economic relief. A huge you know, thing that holds a lot of people back is just the fear of that eventual debt you have to pay off. For fresh and Katie Weiss, it's not only the pressure of getting good grades. I am hoping to get a doctorate degree, so obviously that's a ton of school and that's a ton of money. Um, so I have been worried about uh, how to pay for college and I've been trying to, you know, budget and get financial aid where I can. Now the Biden administration is bringing back a campaign Your promise coach. of student loan relief. No one with an undergraduate loan today or in the future, whether for community college or a four-year college, will have to pay more than 5% of their discretionary income to, re to repay their loan. Plus a $10,000 loan forgiveness for those earning less than $125,000 per year or families making less than $250,000 per year. If you were a Pell Grant recipient, the loan forgiveness bumps up to $20,000. Even though few students actually engage in the student loan process while they're at Cuesta College, as they go on to complete their bachelor's degree, absolutely they are taking on that student debt. So many, many of our alum are going to benefit. The student loan forgiveness would also apply to current students whose loans originated before July 1st, 2022. According to the Education Data Initiative, 43 million people People have federal student loan debt, which adds up to a balance of $1.6 trillion. Cost is fundamental in decision making for everyone. What can borrowers do now? Know what your interest rates are. Uh, know what kind of loans they are. Are they private? Are they public? Are they federal loans? Set a financial game plan. Pay down other debt, whether it's credit card debt or uh, car debt you know, redirect that towards spending down other debt. In the meantime, students remain hopeful. We'll probably be more excited about college in general if they know that it's not going to be a huge burden for them and their families. Another important detail in this plan is the extension of student loan repayment plans to December. This means federal student loan repayment plans will resume in January 2023. In San Luis Obispo, Claudia Busio, KSBY News. And here's a statement from the CSU interim chancellor in response to the student loan forgiveness plan. She says, quote, nearly half of the CSU's undergraduate students are Pell Grant recipients. So today's announcement is welcome news for many. With even less debt, these students and our recent alumni will be better positioned to strengthen the California workforce, workforce and communities throughout the state as they pursue their professional and personal dreams. And among other goals, the Biden administration wants to make community college free and to double the maximum amount of Pell Grants.